Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Winnebago Mini 2250DS. This particular floor plan is in the cobblestone interior. This is a great couples coach. I really like this setup. Uh, it's nice open floor plan. It just gives you a lot of flexibility. Let's start off right in the back here. As soon as you come in, take a look at this. You have awesome wardrobe space there. So if you wanna use this as a coat closet, naturally it's right next to the door. Or if you plan on spending a lot of time in here, maybe you're living out of it, and so you need some extra uh, storage to hang your you know, normal clothes, you can certainly use it for that as well. Then right underneath you have big storage. Again, maybe you wanna put shoes in there or you know whatever else you need to use the storage for. It is a very large space down there. Right here's the bathroom. Let's take a quick look. Uh, one of the things before we enter that I love to talk about on Winnebago Tobel products are the doors. You'll see they're actually framed out in wood instead of plastic, and they're true, they're square, they work every time. When you shut it, it actually shuts, it doesn't wiggle around, won't pop back open on you like a lot of manufacturers out there. I know it seems silly to brag about a door, but I'm telling you, when you're out there shopping, compare Winnebago to some of the others and you'll quickly see what I mean. Right here on the door itself, you also have a robe hook there. If we step in, you take a look right uh, down in the corner there, you see the foot flush lever toilet, plenty of room all the way around. Then right over here, you have the Neo Angle shower. Uh, I like the doors in here because they're in a roller track, so that way when you're done showering, all the water just goes right down the door into the shower pan, rather than all over the floor like your standard swing open glass door. You also see you have some shelving in there, a hand wand, and a skylight up top. Uh, just to give you an idea for height, I'm six foot, and you can see I can stand underneath the ceiling, but if you're you know, a little bit taller, 6'3", something like that, you can stand underneath this skylight. It will give you that additional headroom there. Over to the side, you see the mirrored medicine cabinet here, and then right down below, you have your uh, sink top, nice stainless steel bowl, electrical outlet for anything you need to plug in, and then some additional storage right here underneath. Right across the way here is the Dometic fridge-freezer combo. When I open this guy up, you'll see you have lots of space in here. Nice cutout for some taller items. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Right on the wall, you'll see you have your Dometic thermostat. That will run both your ducted AC as well as your ducted heat. And then right down below there, you'll see there's an electrical outlet. So that way, if you're sitting in your nice big u dinette here, you need to plug in a laptop or tablet, something like that, you have a place to do it. Speaking of the nice big u dinette, take a look at that. That is what is in our slide out. This is great for entertaining. If you have guests over, you know, friends, family, uh, whatever it may be, you can sit around the table here, enjoy a meal together, play games together. Uh, just, again, makes for great entertainment value. Also, if you do have any guests that want to stay the night, the table does drop down into a bed. You simply remove the legs from the flanges here in the floor, as well as the flanges in the table, and then this table will sit along the rails, take the cushions from the back, put it on top, and you now have a bed that will easily sleep to adults. You also see you have a light right here up top. Turn that on so you can take a look, nice and bright. And then you have windows all the way around. Uh, those windows obviously let in some natural light as well as help with cross ventilation. Another thing that's cool, the uh, seats right here are a nice leatherette material. So if you have like, you know, kids or grandkids that are staying, they're kind of sloppy eaters, it's really easy to clean up if they spill on the seat here. Then across the other side, you have a big, beautiful kitchen. Take a look at the size of the countertop space. If you're looking for a couple's coach that's open and has a ton of counter space, this is definitely one you want to think about. A lot of people automatically think about a rear kitchen, but that's not necessarily uh, the case. As you can see, this has a much larger kitchen area than a lot of your rear kitchen campers out there. Uh, so you have the prep space here. You have the three burner cooktop with the cover. So you do get to utilize this as space here. When I peel this back, you can see the nice three burner cooktop. It is an Atwood unit. The front one there is high output. And then underneath you have an oven. As far as storage, I'll open this up for you. You can see you have great storage down there. And then as we move forward a little bit here, again, more storage there as well as some additional storage under the sink. So a ton of storage all the way throughout here. And then right on the end, you have a bank of three full extension ball bearing drawers. Right up above is your uh, double bowl faucet. It's a double equal bowl there, stainless steel, high rise faucet, makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. 
Uh, you also see it, they kind of have a bar right here. I think this is really cool. It's a, a really nice idea, especially in this floor plan. Uh, so you kind of have the bar top. If you look on the back side, you can see you have plenty of space here for um, for your bar stool. So basically, you can just pull your bar stools up right here. You can sit here. Again, you know, if you have guests, it's great for entertaining. If you want to eat your meal here rather than the table, you can do that. You have a great shot to the TV here as well. So the TV, uh, it is on a swing arm mount. So if you want to watch it in bed, you can swing it out and around. Otherwise, you can watch it here at the bar. You have a great shot from the U-shaped dinette. Just an excellent layout. You also see you have a little bit of storage above the TV there. And then right over here is the multimedia center. Uh, that is your radio and CD player. It's also a DVD player. It is already pre-wired to the TV. All you have to do is throw a movie in and you are good to go. Directly underneath that, you see an LED light to help brighten up the kitchen. Then right here, you have a dual USB port as well as a standard electrical outlet. So that way, uh, if you need a place to plug you know, in a coffee maker, toaster, something like that, you can do it there. Or there's another one hiding out right over here. So a couple different electrical outlets giving you a couple different options. Uh, as far as storage, on either side of the microwave here, you have a little bit of storage. You can see that one there. And then more storage right over there. And then as I said, directly in between is your microwave here and then a fully functional hood with a light and fan. So as I mentioned, you see that it is a nice open floor plan and it flows right from your living space into the bedroom here. If you do have additional gas, you have the curtain here you can close off for privacy, but the idea is the majority of the time it'll just be the two of you and so you can enjoy the open airy feeling. Uh, residential 60 by 80 queen size bed. If you're sick of having short queens, if you're a taller person where your feet hang off, not a worry in here because again, it is the full 80 inch length. You'll see right over here, these are your two uh, propane tanks. <clears throat> when the manufacturer ships them, this is how they ship them. This one does have the upgraded 30 pound tanks rather than the 20. So if you plan on you know camping for an extended period of time, having the bigger tanks is really nice. Also right underneath the bed, you have excellent storage. You can see your propane tank cover right there. But look how nice and easy this lifts up. You have two struts. And because the way, they've, uh, the way they've placed them, it actually lifts the bed really nice and high. A lot of times the bed only comes up to about here and it's a little tricky to get in there, especially if you're older. But you know, in this camper, it lifts it up real nice and high and you can easily grab anything that you store underneath there. On both sides of the bed, you have some wardrobe space. I'll open this up for you so you can see you have a hanging rod there. Uh, you'll have that on both sides. And then underneath you have like a nice little nightstand right here. You'll also see you have an electrical outlet on both sides and a dual USB port there. Storage going across the top, as well as some additional LED lights. You can see you have a reading light here, another one there in the ceiling. Then you also have a vent, so if you don't want to run the ducted AC, you can open up your windows and get a nice cross ventilation coming through here. Now that we've seen the beautiful inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features of the Winnebago 2250DS. Starting right up front, this unit is equipped with a power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up or disconnect from your tow vehicle. Simply flip the switch to raise or lower the tongue. The switch on the other side right here controls the light in case you need some added visibility at night. Right here is where your two 30 pound propane tanks will go. As I mentioned, we just got this in from the manufacturer and so that's why they're still inside, but they will be hooked up right here. Behind that, you have rails for your battery. And then coming up the front is black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Coming around to the side, we'll take a look at the pass-through storage here. You'll see how nice and big and open this is. Uh, you'll also notice on the far side, you have a battery disconnect. That's really handy. Rather than having to constantly get into your battery box and unhook it when you're done camping, you can just flip that switch and it will kill all power to the coach. Right outside of that, you have TV hookups. Electrical outlet right here, cable outlet right there. Obviously, you can use that electrical outlet for anything you want, but if you do want TV, that's why they put it there. The backer for the TV is right here. So this is where you'd install that mount. Gives you plenty of space and still be able to avoid the awning arm here. And then your cables, you would just dra or, uh, drop right there underneath. Large power awning, take a look at that. It pretty much spans the entire length of the RV. Just touch a button to have that roll out. Same thing to have it go right back in. Then it also has an LED light strip there in case you want some light at night. You'll also notice the two outside speakers. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside. 
but again, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here underneath your awning, you can use your phone or your uh, tablet to be able to control that via Bluetooth. Let's take a quick uh, talk. Take a quick second here and talk about the construction. Uh, Winnebago Toolables are one of my favorite when it comes to the sidewalls. They are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Top-notch sidewall here, and it starts again with the construction. Most of your manufacturers, especially in this travel trailer class, what they normally do is they use a product which is called Lamalux, which essentially is a fiberglass on a big long roll. And then they will use uh, like a Luan backer in order to help give it some stiffness. What um, Winnebago does is they actually use a T60 fiberglass, which is a big fiberglass sheet. So this can't be rolled out, it comes in a solid sheet. So it has a lot of rigidity already. Then on top of that, they put a true pour gel coat exterior, which is one of the best you can have. It's absolutely gorgeous. That's why you don't see the fibers when you look in here and you can actually see a reflection. And uh, it's a very similar process to how they make a boat haul. If you know a thing or two about boats, you know you can buff them and they will stay beautiful. And this is the exact same way. You can keep this beauty for the life of the RV. And I'm telling you, when you're out there shopping, Take a look at the Winnebago sidewall, you'll see a reflection. Go to the one right next to it and chances are you probably will not. Right down here, this is your uh, gravity water fill. So, uh, you know, if you need to fill it up, you don't have pressure, you can put it right in there, it goes into your tank. Right down underneath, take a quick look at the wheels here. Aluminum alloy wheels. Not only do those look awesome, but they also won't rust on you. They help prevent corrosion. And you have nitrogen filled tires that which will help hold the tire pressures for a longer period of time. Uh, like any RV, I do recommend before every trip to make sure that you do check your tire pressures uh, just so you make sure that you're towing your travel trailer safely. Making our way back a little bit further here, this is the entrance to the RV. Three foldable steps with the foldable easy grab handle. This gives you excellent control when entering or exiting the RV. Come around to the back side with me real quick. You'll see right here you do have the rear mounted ladder. This lets you get up onto the roof of the RV. It is a fully walkable roof. Uh, kind of like your tires, I do recommend you know making sure you do some inspections on your roof. You'll probably want to get up there at least once or twice a year just for preventative maintenance. Right here on the back mounted to the bumper is your spare tire with a cover. Not only does this represent your beautiful Winnebago RV, uh, more importantly it helps protect your tire from some of the elements so that way if you ever do have to use it, which hopefully you never do, but if you do it's a great peace of mind knowing that it's right back here with you. If you come around to the off door side, a couple quick things over here. 30 amp detachable power cord right there. Your terminations are right down below. You can see the termination here. Um, your gray and black valve, they actually tuck them way underneath on the Winnebago. You can see them right there. And so you'll obviously want to, uh, you know, when you do drain those, make sure you pull your black first, then your gray. Right up above, you have the black tank flush. This is nice. Rather than having to drag a hose through your whole RV to wash out your black tank when you're done camping, just hook it up right there. That black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. Then next to that, this is your city water fill. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, plug it in, good to go. Right above that, outside shower with hot and cold water access. And then you have satellite and cable hookups right over here. Also in front of our slide toward the nose, you do have ZAMP solar prep. So if you want solar on this RV, all you have to do is buy the portable ZAMP panels, plug them in and it will start to trickle charge your battery. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Winnebago Mini 2250DS. This one has the platinum exterior with the cobblestone interior. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.